hi everybody welcome back to my channel um, thank you so much for the comments you left on my last video uh, the stuff that I talked about that I hauled um, I know that doing pro a lot of the people who uh, are subscribed to my channel watch for project pan and for panless palette and like you know all these like little um, using up makeup challenges that I do and I just have to say like that is not stopping just because I am buying some new products and talking about them I'm still very dedicated to those projects um, I just wanted to buy some new limited edition things some things that um, I'm very I was very excited about and looking forward to for a very very long time so I hope that um, you guys will understand that and that that these are things that I wanted to share with you guys and um, that maybe you guys want to purchase as well I'm really a big makeup lover I love talking about makeup um, it's one of the reasons why I created the YouTube my YouTube channel to begin with is because I wanted to talk about makeup and while doing project pan challenges and using up as many products as I can is a lot of fun. It's also a lot of fun to buy new stuff and talk about new stuff. Um, so I hope that people um, who enjoy watching like me talk about new products um, will continue to watch and I hope the people who, who like watching my project pan videos and the videos related to, to Project Pan will continue watching my channel because those updates are coming very soon. Do not worry. Um, so this is just a little video where I wanted to talk about the 500 point perk um, from Sephora. This is brand new. These things are very uh, limited edition. Um, so if you happen to be curious about this and are watching this because you want to buy it, um, just keep that in mind. That once they are out they are out and sometimes they last a little bit longer and sometimes they don't um, it really depends on, on what the product is and what people hear about it um, so I've never really watched videos about these little 500 point perks um, but I thought that maybe this could provide some valuable information if people were wondering what to redeem their points for because 500 points is essentially $500 worth of products so if you're not familiar with Sephora and um, their Beauty Insider program essentially they have three tiers of programs the first one anybody can sign up for um, and you're called a beauty insider um, so there's no limit like there's no nothing you not a certain amount of money you have to spend um, you are just default beauty insider which gets you some perks and special rewards if you're interested in that including the birthday gift then once you've spent $350 in a calendar year you're um, VIB very important beauty I think that's how they do it and then if you spend a thousand dollars plus in a calendar year you're VIB Rouge which is what I am um, but essentially they have um, different tiers of perks that you can trade in your points for so it's essentially a dollar um, a point is a dollar not including taxes they have a hundred point perks uh, 250 point perks 500 point perks and even a thousand point perk which was two full-size Marc Jacob lip products, I believe. That was like the first 1,000-point perk that I saw anyway. Um, I really like the 500-point perks because I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, I will also trade in points for the 100-point perks for like primers and like the oil I talked about in my haul video. Um, but I find the 500-point perks are a really good way to try a brand you haven't tried before. So I hadn't tried anything from Bobbi Brown, nothing. Not a, not a lipstick, not an eyeshadow, not an eyeliner, nothing at all from this brand. So when I got the email telling me about the um, 500 point perk, I was very excited to go pick that up. So it comes in this pretty big box, which can be a little misleading. It shows you on the other side the things that are in here. It show, It's a um, cream lip and cheek product, the eye cream, which I've heard really good things about. Um, a black eyeliner, a mascara, and a lip gloss, and also this bag. So when you take off the sleeve part, you are left with kind of the generic um, Sephora Beauty Insider box, which is has the signature Sephora black and white stripes on it. When you open the box, now I've opened it because I've actually tried everything out this morning. Um, I'm using all of these products on my face right now. So inside the box, it says, 
your beauty obsession rewarded. Um, addiction has its benefits. Curated especially for you, this exclusive set includes the most coveted products from cult classics to the latest must-haves. So go on, get your 500 point fix. So when I first opened it up, um, this little zippered pouch was inside a plastic bag and then they have some of these, you know, packing things in there. And I opened it up and some of the products were wrapped in tissue paper. Um, so this is how big it is and it's pretty small. It's very, um, a little good travel kit. I don't know if I would end up using um, this pouch for anything because I think it really is too small. It might be something good to throw into my purse actually because I just have a couple of like loose floating things like a powder and a lipstick like I don't really have a lot of stuff like a makeup bag in there so this might actually be good for me to carry around um, day to day with some necessities. So the products are travel size. They are deluxe sample size. They are very small but a lot of these things will last a while depending on what they are. Um, I like to suggest that people avoid any 500 point perks that have a foil in it because you will not get your money's worth out of a foil. So the first thing and what I was really interested in trying to was the hydrating eye cream which comes in this little cute little jar. Uh, I used it this morning and I only needed to use a little bit. I don't know if you can see inside very well. It's a very, very white cream. Um, it is super hydrating. I noticed that when I put it on. Um, I really like high, uh, eye creams that are hydrating and not thin. Thin eye creams drive me crazy because I feel like they're, they're not doing anything. Uh, this one feels really, really good. Um, it absorbed really quickly. Obviously, I can't talk about results or anything because this is the first time I've used it, but I had no irritation from it. So. I'm excited to use this. Um, I love trying new eye cream, so this was a really good thing for, for me to find in this package. And if you're interested in trying the eye cream and you have 500 points, I mean, this could be worth it just on its own, just to try for this, because the eye cream um, is, I think, retails for about 50 to $60, which is quite expensive. Um, so this is a, a really good way to get a fair amount to try. Uh, the next thing that drew my uh, attention is this Bobbi Brown um, Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks and this is in blushed rose so it has this really cute container I was very uh, happy when I opened it and saw that there was a mirror in here um, and this is what this looks like and it's a cream pa um, it's a cream product I used it today on my cheeks and on my lips I didn't like it on my cheeks but I've said before I don't really like these dual products because I always find the consistency tends to lead one way or another like I found this to be a little bit stickier for what I would put on my face now it doesn't necessarily feel sticky but applying it it felt sticky so it kind of felt like I was applying a lip product to my cheek as opposed to something that works for both. Um, I applied it with a finger onto my lips and I really like the color that it left. Um, it's very natural, very pretty. It's a very, very pretty rose color. Um, I'm obsessed with roses, the scent and um, the shades, the various shades of roses. It has a slight smell, and I want to say it smells like roses, but I definitely can't say that for sure. I might be just um, imagining the rose scent because uh, of the name and the color. I really am liking this. I think this product will last a very, very long time, um, just with how much it seems to be in here. And I think I would probably use this as a lip product only. Um, I did have to do about three layers on my cheeks to get a color that was blended out enough that looked natural and not too pink um, and not too or too dark so I think I'm gonna you keep using this as a lip thing because I really like the way that it looks and it feels on my lips then on top of that I did put a little bit of this high shimmer lip gloss in bare sparkle this is a super shimmery lip thing when I first looked at it I was really terrified because it is what it says high shimmer sparkles um, but it really applies more glossy and looks more glossy than it does look um, 
and then it does look sparkly so it doesn't just look like you coated your lips in glitter the next thing in here is a black eyeliner um, this is in the color jet uh, this is a pretty standard eye pencil um, it reminds me somewhat of the Makeup Forever pencil. Um, I've tried a lot of black liners. I like ones that are definitely creamier. And this one definitely is creamier. When I applied it, there was no tugging. It applied really, really well. So far, it's lasting really well. It's very black, but it's not the blackest eyeliner I've ever used. So I'm liking this formula. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, sometimes with certain eyeliners, especially with black eyeliners, uh, they will start to run a little bit, even with using a primer. And I did not use a primer today. Um, before I applied this makeup, all I put on was a little bit of a um, neutral eyeshadow. I did my brows a little bit and I put on tinted moisturizer. That's all I, I put on besides trying these products just because I wanted to give them the show. I wanted to really try them out without getting something else. Um, so this eyeliner is pretty is pretty good. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, so right now I really really like it. I like that it, it, um, it lines my eyes really well and makes my eyes look super blue. I think that also has to do with the lip thing though. I think this lip, the lip is really flattering. And the last thing is a smoky eye mascara in black. Um, yeah, I mean nothing special. I wouldn't say there's anything that stands out about this. I used the, this mascara today. Um, I like, I ha I didn't curl my lashes or anything. This is just my lashes with um, this mascara on it. I like it. It didn't. Um, it dried pretty quickly and didn't leave a lot of smudges. I tend, I have long lashes, so when I apply mascara, they tend to um, get all over my lid. But this dried really quickly, so I didn't have any of that smudging on my um, upper lid and by my brow bone. I really, so I really appreciate that. Um, that was a really good thing. Um, so anyway, these are the five products that come in that set that all so nicely fit in this little pink pouch. Um, I think this is a really good deal for a 500 point purse. If you've never tried Bobbi Brown or you're interested in trying um, some of these products specifically, I think this is a really good deal. So if you have 500 points to turn in, I would make a place an order online or go into your Sephora store and see if you can trade your points in to get uh, one of these kits before they're gone. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. If you have any more questions about the products in this little kit, um, please leave a comment down below and I will answer you there. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.